So hi, uh, this thing will be a partially a voiceover as you can see and the reason being it because well I'm a fucking idiot I did not turn on the fucking microphone and if you do not turn on the fucking microphone you do not get sounds so yeah uh, anyway this thing will be a repair of uh, Canon Avalon A1166 Pro and basically it's a Bitcoin miner and now this one uh, here you can see I'm unscrewing the screws and uh, this one is just not working basically whenever you connect it to the uh, power supply it just blows the fuse so I decided to um, open it and see what's inside and whether there is a clue to what's causing the uh, issue now as you can actually see this thing has not been opened yet so there's that and um, what I will be finding out in here is that actually the capacitors are blown as you can see I already detected that they are uh, well that they have exploded now as you can see they all need to be replaced there is the last one is actually okay um, but yeah and unfortunately I do not have the original value capacitors I actually have better ones I have these are these ones are some kind of fake Chinese ones I have actually bought Nishi cons which are expensive as fuck which were expensive because well uh, yeah they are way better than uh, these ones so what I will be doing is actually uh, replacing the capacitors and uh, trying to see whether I can fix this thing or not so here you see me um, well disassembling the uh, unscrewing the uh, motherboard there are actually four screws that do hold the uh, motherboard in place so well the, not the motherboard the uh, power supply and yes there are two more screws uh, which hold the uh, which actually uh, produce 12 volt outputs and the fans need to be disconnected as well so uh, yeah there's that and uh, here I'm actually searching for something oh yeah it's the uh, mm, well the magnet to mm, remove <coughs> all of the screws I'm sorry and yeah oh by the way this thing has been um, I think um, glued a bit uh, to the uh, well to the chassis with this uh, some kind of sticky white uh, glue I guess mm. and I think I just figured out that I am not recording yeah and I just noticed that I did not turn on the microphone so <sighs> it is what it is okay can I uh, move this thing upwards no something is screwed in okay let's try these three screws there are three screws in here as well we'll see Where is this thing screwed in, you know? Oh, it's in here. Okay. I need to avoid warranty some more. Oh well. Fans three and four. Oh boy. And this is the uh, plus and minus. It's kind of cool. Because so this is the... Uh, this is the uh, power we didn't need to remove this thing so let me just put this thing back and you know what i might actually use thermal compound to put this thing back in just a second but not now not at this moment let's install this thing just temporarily okay uh, yeah by the way i don't know if you can see plus or minus these are beefy ass terminals but kind of good idea you know You know, too bad that the power supply is shitty because I think that this device is actually not cheap. Okay, and connect to the cable. I think that I will be able to remove this thing. I think. Can I remove the fan connectors? I think I can. But can I? 
do I really need to? No, I don't. I can actually just remove this thing with the... Uh, yeah, these capacitors are larger and uh, wider in diameter. So this thing will be an adventure, but we'll see. If not, I can always hook wires and just connect them as an external capacitors, unfortunately. By the way, this is uh, this thing has some kind of protective coating all over the uh, PCB. I'm guessing that somebody thought about something, but unfortunately not about the quality of the capacitors. So, uh, yeah. And all of the capacitors are in this uh, hot, I don't know, rubbery thing. So I'm not quite sure I'm going to deal with this thing. I will see. So I think I'll need to remove this thing in a violent way. Okay. Okay. It has been removed. Now let's see. What about the bottom part? Okay. Basically nothing nothing is fucked up which is nice. I'm not happy with this thing, but yeah. Okay. Okay, and just pull. Yeah. I need to pull two more. So, okay. There's like um, a lot of gunk inside. And if you ask me whether this thing is this thing the smartest way to remove these capacitors, I think you know the answer to this. But uh, I don't think that there is any other smarter way. Okay, this one actually fell apart faster than every other. So. Okay. it with this thing I think I can but yeah I can okay perfect so, not quite sure what this wire what was this wire for but it's silicone and it's uh, yeah it is for a bit stronger current I guess so uh, yeah okay two three four five so I need to peel it somewhere around here these strippers are not made for such thick wire but they seem to do the work now the yellow one I do not need I will be saving it for another project one that involves ground I guess I think that this thing failed only due to faulty capacitors because I do not see anything else that's well exploded or well changed color and whatnot. So let's try to see how long, for example, like this one. Let's cut it. Now let's need to. They actually fit inside. No, blue one will be the negative one, which is uh, this one because I've marked it. Okay. One. Not. Let's solder this thing right away, right? And before you tell me I'm not putting any flux, uh, this one, uh, this tin has flux inside. So. Okay, 
let's snip this off and I will be cleaning this thing with isopropyl alcohol because yes we don't want any contacts that are unnecessary okay okay in fact while I'm here I can actually vacuum this thing and even clean those fans and now what I will be doing is actually put this thing back where it belongs and screwing it in so first part is actually done uh, screw 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 now I need to connect this I think this is a control whatever and I need to screw in these uh, main terminals right by the way design of this thing is actually good some serious amperage goes through this thing <laughs> I'm guessing it's 12 volts but the amperage I don't know Okay, and now I need somehow to make this thing go to here. And I need a marker. Simply in here. Okay, X. to drill this side as well. Since I actually have wires going through here, I'll be using, I think this one will be okay, because I don't want these wires to, you know, snap or whatever, so, well, snap to make a short circuit, so I think that this thing will be a-okay, what do you think? I think this thing actually looks cool. Now what I will be doing is placing these capacitors somewhere like this, something like this. And creating two holes, two holes and uh, using a zip tie to hold them in place. And this thing will be just, you know, so that they don't move. Because I think that this thing will get hot, probably. So, uh, let's try to glue them together. Okay. These are two. And I am gluing them like this, so that uh, the polarity remains easy to see, I guess. This thing does not look half bad. I gotta tell you that right away. So... Okay, I think that this thing will be good enough. By the way, do you know the name of the guy who invented lithium ion batteries? John Goodenough. <laughs> Parkside from Lidl. And I will be actually placing hot glue in here. Okay, hot glue is hot, not to sulfur. Yes. I think this thing will be awesome. What do you think? Okay. Okay. So now what I need to do is solder them in here. And you know what? I will be actually. Uh, there is no need for these wires to be so long, so... Blue one. 
and the red one. So let's see. So let's see, number one. This is the finished product. Now I still need to test it. But I think that it will be fine. So what do we have? This is a good resistance. These are capacitors charging whatever. Well, now we'll see. Will my fuse blow or will this thing turn on? This thing is working. Um, um, if you find this video useful, click thumbs up. If you did not, you know what to do. Basically, these capacitors tend to fail. And by the way, touching this thing would not be a smart idea. No, no, no. So until the next time, cheers.